you know, it's a little disappointing because we had been better in those situations, executing execution wise, and you know, it's at times as simple as it sounds, it comes down to making some open shots. A fourth quarter scoring drought cost the Boston Celtics the game on Friday night against the Portland Trail Blazers as the Blazers prevailed with a 109 to 105 victory. Now the Celtics held on to a four point lead at halftime, but they saw their lead quickly dissipate as the Blazers held the Celtics scoreless for a seven minute span in the fourth quarter as they were able to take control and edge them out. I think our execution wasn't as crisp as it had been. Um, you know, they obviously went after Jason and took him out a little bit there, blitzing and, and throwing double teams at him when, when they did switch. And, you know, we weren't as crisp, had some turnovers, but also missed some open shots that obviously would change the game if we hit those. But, you know, it's a little disappointing because we had been better in those situations, execution-wise, and, you know, it's at times, as simple as it sounds, it comes down to making some open shots, and they dared some guys to make it and took it out of his hands, and we didn't, didn't make them pay. We just got to stay healthy and put, some, put a run together. I mean, we've had some bad losses, obviously, and, you know, we beat, you know, the best teams. Uh, you know, we just got to be more consistent and be better. We just failed to execute a couple of things, um, just mental errors on, a, on our part as a team. Um, just got to go back, look at film, see exactly what happened. And all we can do now is just try not to let that happen in the future. Now, following this loss, Jason Tatum said it hurts. It obviously bothers the whole team, but he said we can't go back in time. All we can do is move forward, and in order to do that, we have to get back in the gym and learn from our mistakes as we also watch film and come together as a team.